As we walk down streets in any city, there is a force that surrounds us, data. Keep me closer. Every second we generate enormous amounts of data. This comes from various devices, for example your mobile phone, your text calls, your photos, your application data, through to the rise of the Internet of Things, where companies have embedded sensors into their products and services to get real-time feedback, generating vast volumes of data. There are many opportunities with data, but there are also some challenges in terms of ethical, privacy and security. But there's a fourth dimension, and that is the impact data is having on our environment. And that's where digital decarbonisation comes into play. Digital transformation has been critical to the decarbonisation efforts of organisations across the globe. But is digital data and digitalisation carbon neutral, as is often assumed? The answer is no, it has a CO2 footprint. Take data centres as an example. Recent estimates suggest that they contribute between 2.5 to 3.7% of all human-induced carbon dioxide. To put that into context, aviation sits at 2.1%. So not only does digital data have a CO2 footprint, it is sizeable and it continues to grow. Making data carbon emissions worse is that 60% of the data we store is dark data, which is used once or never at all. The data CO2 footprint is real, yet for many organisations it remains hidden. That's because to date there's been no means to capture the CO2 emissions along the data flow, from origin of data through to its end use. That is, until now. Oh, yeah.